Hi, um, good afternoon. It is, uh, here's your sister Cheryl. It's November 16th of 2018. And uh, I just felt led by the Lord Jesus to come on here and chat just about a few things and um, give a little bit of encouragement, encouragement to the body of Christ, the true body of Christ. And uh, maybe do a little ranting uh, about the um, horrible things that I'm seeing on YouTube, the false doctrines, uh, the fear mongering. Um, anyway, I pray the Lord Jesus Christ blesses this video and that uh, the words I say are acceptable to you, Lord, uh, on my judgment day. Anyway, um, my videos are mostly primarily directed to the body of Christ for encouragement for those who are looking for the pre-tube rapture, who have that hope of the blessed hope in their heart implanted there by the Holy Spirit of God to know the truth that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the Lord's church and that we or me or any child of the Most High God are not subject to God's wrath. That's probably coming around just around the corner according to what I see. Um, I'm not looking at signs in the sky or I'm looking at astrological signs, I'm looking at the conditions in the Word of God that the Lord Jesus Christ said would be on this earth before he came. The wickedness is getting so extreme. Um, I, I get vexed quite often when I see uh, the killing of babies spoken about and promoted. Um, the Lord Jesus Christ will be judging all countries for approving of this abomination of the shedding of innocent blood and all the other abominations that are against the word of God that are put um, in laws in America and all the other countries. You don't think for a second the Lord Jesus Christ and Almighty Father God will continue to put up with all this wickedness, evil, and abominations that oppose the word of God. These are all signs of the last of the last days. And the last days started a long time ago. I believe not knowing exactly when this is all going to begin, not knowing when the catching away will happen, um, me and everyone else who's predicted the rapture, excuse me, take that back. Not everybody really predicts a rapture, but there's a lot of people looking for uh, the Arpazzo rapture escape. Um, anytime anybody thinks they have got it figured out, they don't. No one is going to know the day of the rapture. You can only hope. And there's no sin against speculating and hoping every day. Um, just keep that hope in your mind. Keep the hope of the blessed hope in your mind. Because we're still here, folks. And the Lord Jesus Christ's grace is going to have to be sufficient until he comes. No one can say. No one can figure it out through Bible codes, mathematical um, uh, number... <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to address the things that I've seen uh, on YouTube. I want to address some things I've seen that I think that are off biblically. And um, many on YouTube's basically just, I think they just want followers to themselves. They want a fan club. And they, even those looking for the rapture or tickling people's ears. And they're putting out videos over focusing on numbers, thinking they can mathematically figure out when Jesus is going to come. Um, if if Father God wanted to uh, 
was satisfied with the number of souls saved, he would have already sent Jesus to pick up his church. So obviously, um, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long suffering for all, wishing all men to come to repentance. So um, we have to wait at the body of Christ. We have to wait till the time is right until Father God sends his only begotten son to come down here and pick up his church. And no one's going to know. No one's going to figure out the day. Um, you can only see that we're in the season. Um, all the things that the Lord foretold are happening. Are happening. Uh, they range everything from natural disasters, uh, the birth tangs the Lord um, spoke of, the floods, the uh, burning of California, that's another whole subject. Um, volcanoes erupting, hurricanes tearing up uh, huge portions of the, the hurricane uh, tore up Puerto Rico and left flooding and all different like These are just all uh, signs foretold in the word of God that are birth pains. And with every disaster that comes, I believe the Lord is allowing people's life to get so bad. Uh, some people's possessions um, and homes are being stripped away. Now, some people are going to get bitter and angry and hard-hearted toward God uh, and blaming God for all this happening. And then some will seek God. And when they come to the end of themselves, uh, some will seek the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. When they see the brevity of life, life is but a vapor. You can be here today, and you can be gone tomorrow. No one knows what will happen tomorrow. Do not boast. Everything is Lord willing, according to the sovereignty of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we have free will. And but the Lord foreknows what decisions we're going to make. And he knows when we're going to make mistakes. He knows when we're going to make wrong choices. And he's got that all covered. Um, he helps us out. When we get in a pickle and we make many mistakes, Jesus comes around. He foreknows that we're going to make that mistake. And he works through our life trying to um, help us get out of the pickles that we put ourselves in. <laughs> For God is not mocked. What a man sows, he shall reap. Anyway, the sign's all here. The season is here. One big sign, one big last day sign that I would like to speak out is the love of many has waxed cold, and I would say most. And some of the meanest people I would have to say are those who claim. I deal with mostly people who say there are Christians in my life, and. Uh, Woo! Some of them are mean as snakes. I just let you know this. Not that I'm proclaiming that I'm Miss Perfect, because I certainly am not. I'm always Miss Lovely, but I know I'm a salty woman. And Jesus gave me boldness to speak out on things I find that are errors. And uh, so I'd rather be a salty saint and tell somebody the truth than spread just love and lies. The Lord taught me many years ago in his word that Love is telling the truth. Love rejoices with the truth. The false prophets will tell you what they, they what they think you want to hear, usually for a price. The true prophets of God through the Bible have, have a, had a commonality. They wouldn't compromise. They boldly spoke the truth and warnings of impending judgment. And they suffered, and I believe that probably every one of them was killed for their faith. And around the world, there are people today being killed for their Christian faith. Now, slowly but surely, I see Christianity and the spirit of Antichrist uh, coming around to silence and suppress the truth um, through the fake news. Um, that's one thing. Um, Satan is building his NWO, and the Antichrist is definitely on the way. And uh, 
the Antichrist system is uh, in place. The spirit of Antichrist is all over because this world opposes the Lord Jesus Christ. This whole world system is totally Antichrist. As a Christian, if you're sealed by the Holy Spirit, you see it. This world is getting becoming more Antichrist as the day goes on. There's so many false teachings, so many cults, so many um, false teachings. It's just hard to keep up with them. I do want to mention today, there was a woman on YouTube that I, I was following, but I will no longer follow her unless she uh, repents with a change of mind on what she is teaching. I would like to speak out and publicly speak out against this pastor, Sandy Armstrong, he teaches against eternal security, that you are not secure in your salvation, even though you're sealed by the Holy Spirit. And this woman I used to uh, follow, I will, uh, I'm, be, I'm subbing her, uh, made a horrible video, basically teaching the lie of a partial rapture. Folks, again, I will say this one more time. The condition for going in the rapture when Jesus finally comes is being in the body of Christ. If you are born again, sealed by the Holy Spirit, you shall not be left behind. If people are teaching that, they're teaching a works rapture yet again. It just never stops. I get so upset every time I see this. When it comes to doctrine, don't go by dreams. Go by the word of God. And yes, I've gotten a lot of dreams from the Lord. Uh, rapture dreams are in the rapture. Having a rapture dream is no problem. It is in the word of God. The rapture will happen as Paul revealed in the book of Thessalonians. Okay. It's no problem having a rapture dream. And I love, I enjoy listening to rapture dreams for encouragement. But when it comes to Bible doctrine, for someone to come out and say in a dream, God showed me. Who will be raptured? The keys to be raptured. There's only one key to be raptured. If you are born again in the body of Christ, then you are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Jesus will not leave a finger, a toe, an arm, a leg, a nose, a lip, or anything behind. Anybody that's in his body, no part of the body, will be left behind. Do you have that, you false teachers on YouTube? Partial rapture is a lie from the pits of hell. A Perry Stone, who is a Pentecostal, I used to love watching Perry Stone, until the Lord showed me he's putting fear in people. If you're not holy enough, you're not good enough. You're not forgiving enough. You're not this and you're not that. You're going to be left behind to suffer and have your head chopped off in the tribulation. That's a life in the pits of hell. Folks, again, I post this on, on Facebook all the time. The rapture is a gift, a, a free gift of grace. Unmerited favor, you don't deserve to be raptured. I do, certainly don't deserve to be raptured. It's only because I have the Lord Jesus Christ imputed righteousness credited to me. I have no righteousness of my own. You have no righteousness of your own. If it was not credited, imputed to you spiritually, from the Lord Jesus Christ via the sealing of the Holy Spirit. You are not good enough to be raptured. So anybody who's putting on conditions for you to be raptured, your one condition is, are you born again in your spirit? You will never be good enough or holy enough or do enough good works or be forgiving enough or whatever. All these conditions put on you Baloney, I'm here to rebuke this again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Woo, praise you, Jesus. Please get away from these false YouTubers. Those who teach limited atonement, which is Calvinism, flee from the Calvinism. Calvinists, flee from those who do stray from the word of God. You are saved by grace through faith, not of any works, lest any man should boast. It is pure pride. Satan is going around and we all have a sin nature and we all have an element of pride if we really judge ourselves. I know I have to. Jesus has to humble me sometimes. <laughs> anyway, Jesus will humble everyone. I want Jesus to correct me. And Jesus humbles me and corrects me. And 
I will stand before the Lord Jesus Christ knowing I, I'm telling you the truth. The one condition to be raptured is not your perfect, holy, sinless behavior or how loving and kind and sweet you are. No. Are you in the body of Christ? When the rapture day comes, it's also a resurrection of the dead in Christ. What does the word of God says? The word of Christ says, all the dead in Christ shall rise in Christ. Paul wrote, listen to Paul. Don't listen to YouTubers. Don't listen to me. Listen to the word of God. Those in Christ shall rise. And those who, who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. What is the one condition? The one condition is, are you in Christ? How did you get in Christ? You become born again in your spirit. Jesus saves your wretched, sinning soul and plants you in the body of Christ. It's not because of how good you are and holy. You, you trust him by faith and the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. You acknowledge him. You acknowledge his deity. The Father God sent his only begotten son, the only sinless one, to pay, die on the cross. The God-man, fully God, fully man. He had to come in the flesh and die on the cross and shed his precious blood to atone for our sins. We are not worthy of the rapture. But Jesus Christ's blood shed at our cross and our trust and faith in him will get us raptured and get us to heaven. Lord Jesus, please. Many people will not take correction. Folks, the spirit, the Antichrist spirit abounds. Lawlessness abounds. People won't, cannot be corrected. You know what Jesus says? Let them be. Let them believe what they want. Let them go. I think I've corrected to my blue in my face about this partial rapture, lie from the pits of hell. And I'm here to rebuke this because people are walking around in fear. That Jesus is going to leave me behind. He's going to leave me behind because I'm not good enough. Well, duh, no one's good enough to be raptured. But Jesus is good enough to take you in the rapture if you're born again. You see, it is all about Jesus and how good he is. Not how good we are because we're not good. <laughs> the Bible says no one is good. No, not one. Your righteousness, your goodness, your loving behavior won't get you to heaven. Anyway, I guess I've ran it enough. Please, G Lord Jesus, oh, help me. Oh, Lord. Please compare everything to the word of God. Yes, I give people grace. I correct them. But many will not be corrected. And I ask Jesus to correct me. And I go right to the word of God, and the word of God will correct me if I'm teaching anything wrong. I'm telling the truth on this video today. Love rejoices with the truth. Love rejoices with the truth, not spreading fear and panic. Not knowing. And one last thing I want to encourage people is, we don't, since we don't know when Jesus is coming and I pretty much thought with it the church would be gone by now, but I and everyone else is wrong. We do not know when Jesus is going to come for his church. So therefore, we are here. Continue to shine your light. Be a salty saint. Speak the truth. Compare what you hear with the word of God. What you hear, compare it with what Jesus says. Jesus is your judge, not a YouTuber. I'm not your judge. No preacher, pastor, YouTuber is not your judge. The Lord Jesus Christ is the word of God who became flesh. Compare what you hear, compare with what I say or anyone with the word of God. And the Bible clearly says, the dead in Christ shall be, the dead in Christ, then those who are alive and remain, those who are in Christ shall be raptured. I'm sorry if I get too passionate, but I am passionate about the kingdom. I'm passionate about taking off burdens that the Pharisees on YouTube want to put on people. 
Now, I am definitely for serving the Lord in his kingdom and doing good works. Works, though, don't have anything to do with salvation. Or being good enough or whole, your perfect behavior, no one is going to be good. I am all for obey. After you are saved, saved and born again, I do believe in serving the Lord because he has works preordained for you to do per Ephesians 2, 8, 10. He has works lined up that he would like you to do. And the Lord made me um, pretty bold. And because the righteous are as bold as a lion, I will speak out. And you can criticize me. You can mock me. You can make fun of me. People mock me even because I wear makeup. Who cares? You know what? In this generation where they're pushing uh, women to be like men, guess what? I don't want to be like a man. I don't want to. And if I want to wear makeup, that's my personal liberty choice. And if you don't like it, I, I don't care. Do what you want to do. I have liberty in Christ to do what I want. Now, I want to please the Lord Jesus Christ. And he wants correct doctrine taught and his word taught on YouTube. Anyway, there's two pastors now I would recommend. Uh, I recommend the channel called Hensley. And I also recommend Charles Lawson. And uh, anyway, one last bit of encouragement is um, we have to occupy till he comes. The Lord is trying our patience, but one day he will come and take up his church. Until then, the Lord's grace will have to be sufficient for you and me. Do your best. Walk in truth. Walk in love. Compare what you hear with the word of God. Try to remain healthy so you're alive. Um, I should do a video on natural healing. So that you're alive in the rapture. Um, anyway, I praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, I pray everyone has a blessed day and a good weekend. We're already in mid-November and this year has just flown I cannot believe we're almost at the end of 2018. Time is flying. We're not flying yet. <laughs> but time is flying. One day we will fly on some unknown blessed day. Keep the hope of the blessed hope. And pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord his promises. I pray all that watch that are blessed with um, more grace and more strength to endure. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and mount up on wings, wings of eagles. I pray to tell you today that for healing and truth and discernment and wisdom and blessings and all needs are supplied by the Lord Jesus Christ to all those watching this today. If you made it to the end of this long video, sorry if I ran in too much, but hey, I got to speak out sometimes and I just want to chat. So Maranatha. Have a wonderful day in the Lord Jesus Christ. And look up. Your redemption draws near. And one day we'll all be at home celebrating. I'm still having a big party at my mansion in heaven. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Maranatha.